On startup, make sure that the chamber is clear of media and any foreign debris. After that, remove the bung that has been placed in the media and waste rubber exit chute. Then check that the media hopper is full of new media that is not damp. And the dry air system is on as it is used to move the media from the hopper to the throw wheel. Check the waste bins are clear of waste rubber. Once you have established the machine is clean and ready to be used, simply add or select your chosen parameters whilst making sure the machine is not in override or supervisor mode. Our chamber has been designed so that the basket is a nice tight fit whilst inside the chamber. It has been designed this way to reduce the consumption of liquid nitrogen by simply not filling wasted space within the chamber. The liquid nitrogen comes in via a solenoid valve that will turn off when the door is open. The basket is driven by an AC motor outside the chamber in a fully insulated section of the machine to prevent any temperature sensitive parts from getting damaged. There is also an LED that will illuminate when the basket is in its home position. Our throw wheel assembly is driven by an AC motor that will generate speeds up to 20,000 RPM. This helps to reduce the consumption of liquid nitrogen by reducing the cycle time. It will also mean smaller media can be used to obtain a more defined finish. Located inside the lower cabinet is a fan. This helps to stop movable parts from freezing and helps get the maximum efficiency from the separator unit. Located inside the lower cabinet is a strip light that is activated via a switch. This helps give the operator or maintenance team a clear view whilst looking inside the cabinet. During the machine cycle, you can clearly see how the media is flowing via the viewing tube. On the HMI screen, it will show you what the actual throw wheel speed is, as well as the current temperature and the cycle time left. Under the nitrogen icon, it informs you how long the solenoid valve has been open during the cycle. As you can see, the machine will easily hold a temperature of minus 100 degrees while still obtaining a good media flow. If the operator had to step away from the machine for a period of time, they need to press the cool off function. This helps keep areas frozen and prevent moisture buildup. When cleaning the throw wheel, 
disconnect the media tube and vacuum any excess media from the throw wheel. After that, remove the hopper and empty the media out into a tray. Clean any excess media left inside the hopper by using a vacuum. Sometimes a brush is needed to agitate the media from the sides of the hopper. Once it is clean, place the hopper upside down to allow the moisture to drop out and prevent it from being damp for the following shift. Once the chamber is clean, free of media and any rubber waste, place the bung back into the exit chute to prevent the unfreezing moisture from dripping into the separator and making the sieves wet and causing media flow problems for the next shift.